Hello everybody and welcome back to Australia. It's not every day that I can say that, and actually it won't be that long until I can't say it again because we're only here for a short amount of time. This is my sixth day, I think. Yes it is, my sixth day. I have been learning over the past few days how this farm works and I've really been just given the one job. I've been following the combines around doing cultivating. I've been doing the, uh, the cultivation work. This field here I did cultivate a few days ago. It looks like it might have been drilled actually since. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, I've been cultivating acres and acres, well, hundreds of acres. It's just been one big job. But all the cultivating is done for now. So I think I'm probably going to be on a different job today. I don't know what it's going to be. We're going to have to go and speak to Alex. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can find out. There's a person who uh, must own one of those caravans. They've got some trailers over here. But anyway, yeah, let's just go through here. Alex is usually in the workshop at this time. That's the time I have to pick up the job. He's fairly good, though. I, I finished, like, 1 in the morning, um, so I'm not due into work until 9. It is 3 minutes past, but hopefully he won't mind too much. Now, where is he? He is usually in the workshop. He's usually wandering around here. Uh, actually, the workshop seems pretty empty this morning. Hmm. Yeah, there's actually three full-time workers who maintain the machinery. And about four or five tractor drivers as well. But it looks like nobody is here. And the radio is off, which is a sign. <laughs> uh, looks like everybody's on a different job today. Oh! Ah, morning, mate. Morning, Alex. I see everybody's here now. For a moment, I thought it was just me. But uh, no, no, I'm definitely definitely enjoying the farm work so far. How does my farm compare with your one back in England, then? Well, it is different. I am, like I say, I'm absolutely loving it. Change of scenery, big machinery. And, yeah, it's just very, very different. But, yeah, it's a nice change. Yeah, Dennis has told me all about the issues you've been having on your farm. Oh, yeah, there's been loads of problems. We got the flood a couple of years ago. That was devastating. That destroyed my previous farm. And then recently I've had just minor things like, um, well, horse problems and a bit of fly tipping, that sort of stuff. Blimey. Well, I've been watching some of your latest vlogs and it's looking promising now at least. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely improving. It's... I don't know what happened, but I went through a phase of having constant problems, so it's really good that that's all finished. Anyway, I've left a truck over in the yard at the grain merchants. Can you pick it up for me? Yeah, no problem at all. Right, I'll run you over there now. Okay, well, here we are. Alex is just going, as you can see. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is get that returned back to the farm. And I think it's just going to go in the workshop. I think he said that it was going to be serviced because it hasn't been done for a while. Right, well, I've never driven one of these before. But there's the key. Just put the key in. So it should fire right up, hopefully. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Um... Should just be like any other vehicle, I suppose. There we go. Yeah, I can see it's got 2,421 hours on it. Uh, I don't know how many miles or kilometres, but um, yeah. I don't think that's that many hours, really. It's just ready for a service. Plenty of life left in it. Right, well, to the workshop. I think I actually noticed the other one already in the workshop. They're probably doing one at a time. And there was a combine that he was in. He said he was actually just configuring something on the integrated system. He might have been setting it up for the next crop. Not too sure. Mm. 
Now I was reading the comments from my previous vlog, the first vlog that I did in Australia, and I noticed there were quite a lot of people saying that there, were, there should have been a road train here, and I actually put that question to Alex to see why they don't run road trains, and he said that actually they do. Um, the reason why they were just having these two today, or on that day, was because they were just literally right next to the yard. Uh, but no, he said that they do have road trains as well, so I'm sure we'll be seeing them in the future. I haven't really been involved with the harvesting since that day, um, but I know they have been quite a long way from the farm, and these two trucks have been in the yard, so I would imagine they have been using something else as well. But that there is the field which we harvested in that vlog. It is all done. We did manage to get it finished off. We finished about, I suppose it was about lunchtime the following day. Uh, in fact, I will just jump out here and show you. It's not very interesting, but <laughs> just show you the, uh, the field now it's been done. This one has been lightly cultivated, but it hasn't been drilled yet. So you can still see there's quite a bit of straw and chaff on the surface. But no, it's a big job, but this is actually one of their smaller fields. Um, they, they have some absolutely huge fields around here. Anyway, yes, back into here, back into the truck. Let's get it put into the workshop. And then I need to get my next job. It's, it's quite nice, this is what makes it quite interesting for me because I don't ever know what I'm going to be doing. Like I said, the, fir the first few days were cultivating every day. I didn't know that, it's just like every time I came into work to get the next job, he just said, can you go and cultivate that next field? So I just did it. Uh, now, I don't know where they want this exactly. I suppose just back here, because that truck's in there at the moment. I'll just park it here. Should be okay. Right. So, let's go and see what we're doing next. If I can find him. Um... Looks like a cat engine. Not too sure. Oh, where's he got to this time? He didn't tell me what to do next. Oh, that's him over there, isn't it? We're expecting a special delivery soon. Why don't you take a look around the farm whilst we wait? Okay. we Will do. Right, well, that's easy. My first break of the day. Just looking around. Um, so, yeah, what's the special delivery going to be? Hmm. Well, I'm intrigued to find out. I think we will do. Judging by that, maybe we're going to be using whatever this special delivery is. Uh, anyway, yes, let's just um, let's just have a bit of a, a wander around. I haven't really been over here before. These are all the silos. Now, all the work which I've done has been, all the harvesting I've done has been sold straight away. But yeah, loads of silos around here. Over here we have an empty shed. But I put the cultivator over here. I was using this one here. It took a while. But it wasn't just me, thankfully. It would have been <laughs> a massive job on my own. They also had this one over here running. But they're all nice and clean. Ready for future work. Yeah, it's a much bigger one. Okay, um, yeah, so lots of empty sheds and stuff. Empty shed over here. I, I do want to have a more thorough tour of the workshop. Very fascinating. I've always found workshops to be fascinating. And then, yeah, you've already seen here, I think, but they've got the drill, tractors, and the, uh, the grain cart just over there. Right, so I think I will do. I'm going to have a look over here in detail. They've got the rims and stuff, lots of tools, Basically everything they need to keep the farm going. I don't know what tractor that's out of, but it must be doing something. It could be a wheel loader or something. New parts have been delivered. Yep. Parts cabinets, so full of spare parts for the tractors. And that's some kind of welder or plasma cutter or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think that is pretty much everything. Wait a second. I don't recognise that tractor. I'm guessing that's the special delivery. Well, one thing's for sure, it's lighting the place like a Christmas tree. Look at that. Here it is, our new John Deere tractor. Very nice. The John Deere 
8RX 410. Well, I've been given the opportunity to sit in here before anybody else. I have found the on off button for the strobes, which is good. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's very roomy, very, very f new smelling, very fresh. Nothing like a brand new tractor. Uh, you can move the steering column towards you, I believe. There we go. And it's very easy to open and close the doors. Very smooth. And you get the interior light come on as well, which is useful. Especially when finishing at 1 in the morning, which I have been doing recently. Well, we best get the next job. Let's just put the steering wheel back. I've been informed about an abandoned car in the river. Can you get some towing equipment from the workshop and then follow me to the river? Right, so I can do that. If only I knew where the towing equipment was. I've just done a tour of the workshop, I should have noticed it. Towing equipment, so what, like a tow bar or a tow chain? Yeah, not those chains, they're in use. Hmm. Let's just have a quick look around. Oh, that looks like a tow bar. A dirty tow bar, but a tow bar all the same. Right, we'll get that taken over to the tractor then. Right. Right, it's not too heavy. Definitely doable. So I suppose it's going to want to go on the back of this tractor, if this is the tractor we're using. Just put that down there. There we go. And we'll get that fitted on. So its first job is going to be pulling a car out of a river. Not something you'd sort of guess as the first job. Okay, so I have just spoken to him and he did say that we are going to be using this tractor. Should have closed the door first. There we go. Uh, right, let's get it fired up. He's waiting over there in his truck. Right. Well, hopefully I know how to drive this thing. With a bit of luck. And we're going over there. Wait for me, I'm still learning. Yeah, I think he can appreciate that I am new to it. Now I just need to keep up with this truck. And inevitably, the tractor is slower. This is flat out. But it's nice to drive, very nice. So comfy. So where is it from here? Oh, straight over the road. Not much chance of hitting anything, although it looks like he's going a bit crazy. Oh, come on, wait for me. Wait, there's not a CB in here, is there? Maybe I can speak to him. Well, I have no idea how long this drive is going to be, but I would imagine it's going to be a, a few minutes at least, so I'm just going to uh, time lapse it if it is a long journey. Looks like he's waiting, that's good of him. The good thing is there's not really much to crash into except for Alex's truck and I think if I did that I would be pretty much guaranteeing the last day here. Uh, looks like we're stopping here. Not too sure why, I can't see a river. Although there's a lot of scrap, look at all that scrap. Might have better go and speak to him. Okay, well he's just said that the river is just in front of us. So, he's going to meet me there, he's going to walk. Should be just around this corner. Ah, water there. Um, it's probably where the trees are. I don't know why he's walking, but he is. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, probably wants a bit of fresh air. You can probably spend too much time in a tractor, as fun as they are. Ah, right, okay, so there is the car. Is it a car or is it a ute? I'm not too sure. But yeah, let's just, let's just jump out of here. Wait for him to catch up. Well, there it is. Get it pulled out and taken back to the yard. Hmm. Right, I should have bought more suitable footwear for this, but let's recover it. How has it even got here? I don't know, but judging by the scrap cars over there, looks like it might be a renowned dumping ground. Whoa, what do we have here? Little, what is it, two-stroke outboard engine on a little 
well, rotten boat of some form. Hmm, there really does seem to be a bit of rubbish around here. Still, could be restored, I suppose. Well, that is me on my own now. He's heading back to the farm, and I just have to somehow get it attached to the tractor. Well, luckily it has a tow bar, actually, so that's going to be easy. It is a ute. I thought it was. Not a car. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I might be able to just sort of nudge it a bit, but I think the easiest thing is just to get it attached and we'll pull it over. By the look of it, I'm probably not going to do much farm work today. I think I am just doing odd jobs. But that's fine by me, after the last few days of just constant cultivating, going up and down the field, uh, it is it is nice. Now I can see why this tow bar is so muddy, from previous jobs like this. Okay, let's just try and get that as close as possible. Luckily it is light enough just to pick it up. And we'll just make sure everything is aligned there, seems good. Okay, let's get that attached. Right. Well, that was effective. I think that must have only just been balancing on its side. Well, <laughs> it's attached, and we're now ready to go take him back. So, what a state. I don't know what the idea... I think the contract is probably for the farm just to tidy up anything in the uh, surrounding watercourses and stuff. For, you, like, you wouldn't want a car in there. could potentially contaminate the water with fuel and oil and other greases uh, but yeah I don't know I don't know if they've been told to by the authorities but whatever let's just get it taken back and he did tell me to clean it as well so we'll give it a good pressure wash now if it follows me in a straight line this is going to be easy if it doesn't then yeah we're going to be struggling a bit come on straighten up I might just have to adjust it a bit. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's good. Well, we have plenty of space if it does want to snake around. I think the greatest problem that we have here is just that we are towing it from the back, which means we can't lift up the, uh, the, the steering wheels at the front. But I think, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> In the UK, we couldn't really do this, but on this massive open farm track, it's no problem. Every time I look, it's on a different side. It's on my right side. I think it's probably going to end up on my left side. Let's take a look. <laughs> uh, well, it is. It's staying in a. It, it's roughly staying in the uh, in the right place. As long as it doesn't overtake me. Yeah, just just stay behind me. Attach the tow bar, and we'll be fine. But yeah, I suppose um, it's going to be scrapped or something. Is anybody interested in finding out what it's all about? Maybe I could get it as my own pickup here, because I haven't actually got a car. The, the one which I was given briefly has been returned to its owner. It looks like it's done a few miles though. It's been to the moon and back. This is where I need to be a bit more careful, because there could be cars around, although considering I can see several miles in each direction, there's not much chance of a near miss. It's also a bit tighter through here. But yeah, their pressure washer, the farm pressure washer is just at the end of here, on the left hand side next to the shed. Here we are. It's their wash station, it's got a drain. There we go. Right, don't want to run over any of the workers here. I think, um, so I don't splash the new tractor. Sounds a bit crazy, not wanting to get mud on the tractor. But you know what it's like, when you have something new, you don't really... Well, you care for it more, I suppose. You wouldn't want to get it dirty. Right, that's off there. In fact, what I'll do is I'll take the John Deere back around the corner.
I would imagine another worker is going to be using it soon anyway. And also, well, uh, Alex probably wants to give it a go. Since it's his new tractor. There we go. Right. Yep. A beast of a machine. Hopefully we can use it in an upcoming video. It is an interesting looking tractor. All new design and stuff. Fair amount of weight on the front too. But, yep, that will have to wait for another day until I'm told to use it. Now I have this job. Cleaning the ute. Uh, it's, it is a runner. Surprisingly. Hard to believe. Usually when a vehicle's been on its side, you've got to leave it to, uh, to settle because all the oil goes everywhere. Oh, oh, my pressure washing's taking some paint off. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's quite bad actually. The paint is really weak. Well, it has cleaned up quite well. With the exception of paint loss, it could be worse. But yes, that's definitely showing its age. In fact, let's just jump in and see how many hours it's done, how many miles it's done. Wow, yes, it doesn't have an hour meter, but it does have the miles, or the kilometers, it's in kilometers. 765,345 kilometers. Right, well, it's not, <laughs> it's not great, but it's not terrible. Anyway, there we go. It even has a full, full tank of fuel. Well, I'm going to put it near the workshop, out of the way. And I will await my next instructions. There we go, it's actually break time anyway, so I'm going to go and have my break. I deserve it. <laughs> After the last few days I've had, I've barely had a, a moment's rest. Uh, and actually I think that's probably a good time to end this vlog, so the next vlog will probably be from this afternoon. And uh, well, I don't know what's happening, but hopefully we're going to be out in the fields. But until then, see you again soon. Bye for now.